Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have failure here. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. We have pride. And when I see pride, I think about Leo. Not try to be mean, but that's just one of the things about that sign that a lot of times it has to be overcome. Unless you got like really good placements and really <laughs> Look, let me get something with pride. It says, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Now that's how to overcome pride. We have adversity. Wow. So it feels like somebody was challenged. It says, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Hmm. I feel like somebody don't like losing. It says gratitude. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunity that it presents. Okay, so somebody's trying to see the brighter side, hopefully. They're trying to see. You know how when people say it was a blessing in disguise, or like, I'm happy that something happened, or I'm happy that. I lost that because I got this. It's something like that. Okay. Or it's going to become something like that. Because they're, they're going to either get tired of feeling like this. Like someone feels like they lost the challenge. They lost. But they're trying to be thankful for losing because it's something that they gained as a result of losing that they may not have gained any other way. Also, this looks like an eye to me, like just turned sideways. So maybe somebody's third eye is opening or open. We have the page of cups energy here. Hmm. Let me get something with this page of cups. Somebody is coming out like innocence, like hold up. I'm like, I want to say like almost apologetic, but let me see something here. We have the six of wands here. Nah, it's looking, okay, let me get something here. It's looking like someone could be a visionary. See, that's why I be trying to wait before I say stuff because it really depends on how the energies mix. And we have the Queen of Cups here. So it looked like someone grew when it, like a dream grew. Like Queen of Cups can be like an actress. She can be the person that is so in tune with her emotion, emotions, she could cry on cue. Okay, but it's someone that has matured emotionally. Is someone that may have been naive in the past, but something happened here with the Six of Wands. This is like public recognition. This is like being famous, being seen. Is something here about the connections or the connection? Is something here about the creative mind, the imagination? Maybe 
you're a, a artist or something like that. But it's like you won something, like you grew, like it's like, let's say you were a child that, I don't know, you started art or you started singing or something like that. It's like you're a fucking singer now or you're an artist. <laughs> it's like, but then when I was talking about this and I said somebody feels like they failed at some type of challenge, what was the challenge? They thought you wasn't going to do this? But they're grateful you did because you showed them something. Let me get something with this page of cups. You have the seven of cups here. Yeah, like for this young energy, it could sound like, oh, I'm going to be a movie star one day, right? It could sound like that with the page of cups and the seven of cups. Like, oh, I'm going to be a doctor one day. Oh, I just, I'm going, you know, and it could sound like, oh, whatever. You ain't going, you ain't going to do nothing. Let me get something with this, um, this six of wands. Look at that. Mm -mm. Mm, I'm seeing a timeline. I'm seeing a timeline. I'm seeing from youth to grown. And something changed here. Like he must have pulled one of these damn cups and he made something out of it. I'm just saying, page of cups. Let me get something with this um this queen of cups. <laughs> I'm done. Y'all, it's the sun card. It went from I got chills. It went from seven of of cups to eight of pentacles that means that this was not no damn illusion like you was not dreaming you would you really saw your future you really saw it or you're really seeing it the sun card is underneath the queen of cups this is who the queen of cups is it is shining as bright as the sun it's something undeniable with the sun card here. What's at the bottom here? Look, y'all, we got the death card. Whew. A transformation. A transformation on both ends. But the death card also represents an ending. It represents something that's never going to go back to the way it was. Never. Someone could be a Scorpio. Someone be, could be a Leo. I mean, the Sun card, for real, for real, can be any sign. Because the, the Sun moves through the Zodiac every year. It can be any sign. It, somebody could be a water sign because the Queen of Cups, it's mostly Cups here. Page of Cups, Queen of Cups, Death card is water energy. Seven of Cups, it's a lot of water. Or it's something about you. You got a lot of water. Or you have something where your moon is just, <sighs> I don't even know how to explain. Your moon is just in a place where you are in tune with the waters that we swim in. You're in tune with the dreams and the dream state. You're in tune with all of the things that, <sighs> I don't even know how to explain it. <sighs> it's like being... Man, let me get something with this page of cups because I will go into the tunnel. Let me get something with this page of cups. And you have the page of wands. I'm telling y'all, this is a whole timeline. <laughs> Whatever was in this cup, I'm trying to tell you. You know how animals in the sea, they can feel things in the water. They can smell in the water. They can do all of these different things in the water. And let me get something with this page of wands. Like someone is very sensitive to their soul and 
just what the soul is the soul is creative the soul is a creative force like somebody is in tune with that nine of cups this page of cups was not playing i don't know who the hell this is somebody that believes in themselves this is this energy this is somebody that believes in their dreams they believe in their heart they believe <sighs> what is mm, y'all guess what just popped out guess what just popped out on the table the queen of cups and the ace of cups like someone has found themselves someone is very much connected like you must have been a damn water animal or some shit in your, your past life. You had to be. Because somebody's very comfortable with emotions, feelings, connections, love, healing. Like someone's very comfortable with that. Someone, someone is love walking around. It's on the six of wands. Public recognition. Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups. It's noticed. It is seen. Like you guys, I don't know. This must be an up and coming actor or some shit. Like, I don't know. Not, not some shit like that. But I mean, it has to be some type of artist because the way that these cups are coming out is ridiculous. The Queen of Cups is surrounded by the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups is behind her. And she's holding a cup. So that's 11 cups. And it's the Queen of Cups out here for the second time. Y'all, if this is your reading, you need to like read about the Queen of Cups. You need to just read about the Queen of Cups. Don't read about nobody else. Read about the Queen of Cups and what the Queen of Cups talks about. <laughs> we have the Four of Cups here. Let me, it's more cups. Let me get something with this four cups. And this is falling on top of the queen of cups here. And we have the six of cups. I cannot believe how many cups is, is on this board. I just can't believe how many cups is on this board. Just cups. This, per, okay, six of cups right here is somebody from past, the past, or someone you have like a deep connection with from the past or even past lives. Is someone here f not focusing on that? They're not focusing on somebody. They're focusing on what's in front of them. They're, this person is focusing on what's in front of them. Not on the past. That's the point of this right here. That's what spirit wants me to know in order to tell you. You don't, I don't know who you are. If you need to stop focusing on the past, maybe that's what you need to do. But this Queen of Cups that's on the board right here, she's not focusing on the past. She's focusing on the future. Mm, we have the Nine of Swords here. This is the first sword to come out. Let me get something with this nine of sword. And you have the queen of wands. Like who the hell was this queen of wands? Somebody was, it could be mentally abusive. It could be emotionally abusive, physically abusive with this Queen of Wands, Nine of Sword. And because I see this as a timeline, it's like this had to be something from long ago because this is two pages, Page of Cups, Page of Wands over here. And something with the Seven of Cups, something with the dream, like, oh, I'm going to be this or I'm going to do this or it's something like where... I feel like there was some type of abuse here. I don't know what kind. I just feel like there was someone looming over you, maybe intimidating you. Like, I'm even getting something could have happened at night. Something was happening at night. 
I'm not feeling that energy, but I'm just saying what is out here. Let me get something with this eight of pentacles. Someone could have also been a fire sign here. You got the moon energy. The moon energy on the eight of pentacles. This is the energy of like working. I almost want to say like working tirelessly, like working being. <sighs> Let me get something with this moon card. The moon card is like the shadow part of us, the part of us that is unconscious until we realize it's there. Let me get something with this moon card. And you have the eight of cups here. Someone even could have been hiding that they were walking away or someone had emotionally walked away a long time ago. This could have even been some type of parent figure. I mean, it's already coming off like that, but. Or just someone over you. Hmm. Like it's some type of abuse that someone walked away from. We have the, the four of swords here. I think, well, first of all, I already said undeniable with this sun. It's something that just shines through. It shines true. But like the four of swords is like, it's not a fight. Like it's not a question. It's not a conflict. It's something here that you see how I felt like this was collective. This nine of sword, I felt like this was collective. And I felt like this queen of wands was like the reason that collective is was in that nine of swords energy. But that nine of sword has turned into the four sword. So it's like someone is at peace here. Someone is at peace after walking away from some type of cycle or abuse or... Let me get something with this four of swords here. We have judgment. Judgment is not a game as the last card here. And four of swords is there. So it's like, first of all, I feel like there is nothing that can be done about whatever is happening or whatever is coming. I'm seeing these people rise out of the grave. <sighs> I don't know. I see the energy of someone that is at peace with what must happen or what is happening. What is this at the bottom? We have the Hierophant energy here. The Hierophant energy, Taurus and Scorpio are opposite signs. So there's something here. And then the Hierophant, the Hierophant does like your spiritual rights. Like when you're getting married, when you're getting baptized, when you die. It's something here. I don't know. It's something here. I don't, I'm just, look y'all. <laughs> I don't even know what to grab. I really want to get into this death and hierophant energy though, because it's something here where it's like it's been ordained. It has been ordained like some type of death, some type of ending of a cycle here. Something here, it has been, it's already like the council in heaven, because the judgment is the last card. You got death here and you got the hierophant. The hierophant is, and that is, even represents God in some type of ways like the higher spiritual force. Okay, let's say it like that. But it's something here that's being ordained from high or above. Like it is an ending and it is not a game. We got take charge and action. Oh, that's even crazy. Somebody's holding the arrow. 
Oh, it says courage and bravery. Take charge and action. Courage and bravery. It's like you got your shield here. The sun is on his shield. You got the flags here, just like you got your reef on your wand. It's like that same energy here. Like somebody has some type of power or ability or like it's something coming through here. And there's somebody here that they're feeling the effects of something. I truly believe that because somebody is getting to the point where somebody understands the lesson. And that's when shit happens. I'm just being honest. It's when we understand what we did and how we have to do better. That's when the challenge really fucking starts. Or that's when something commences. I'm just saying like a lot of times and I don't even really want to go in. But a lot of times when people come to that awakening. You already know what I'm about to say and I don't even want to say it. And sometimes it takes that last step for you to be like, OK, clean slate time to start over. So it's not really a punishment. I don't want to say it's a punishment, but it does seem like someone had to make it to this lesson. They had to understand something and there is going to be a wiping clean of something. And it may not be for everybody, but in some cases, people are going to pass away because they're ready or they get it or it's scary. But that's sometimes how the energy works especially if i'm seeing a timeline from childhood to adulthood and in adulthood we got the four sword and the, the judgment the sun card at the bottom of the deck you got death and the hierophant opposite energies here taurus and scorpio look i'm gonna leave this one right here if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.